Hello, this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals. To see my collection of beautiful rocks and minerals, which I have prospected from across the United States and other countries, type in on YouTube, Rock and Mineral Identification, followed by my name, Frank Riser, space capital M period, capital S period. Riser is spelled R-E-I-S-E-R. You can support my channel by pay contributing to me on Patreon. On Patreon, type in my name, Frank Riser, M period, S period. With your help from Patreon, I'm able to buy new products so I can make scientific videos for you which are very interesting. Today's demonstration is on the diffraction of light. So let's get to the demonstration. I have a diffraction grating. A diffraction grating consists of a transparent film on which are 1,000 grooves per millimeter, which each groove acting as a prism. If I hold the diffraction grating up to light, you can see this the prism. I'm going to shine a laser beam through the diffraction grating and the laser beam will hit each prism and will diffract or bend the light. We'll be able to see to what extent it bends the light. And we'll be able to do some calculations finding wavelength of the light from this experiment. I have the laser beam turned on. The laser is passing through the diffraction grating onto the screen below behind. You can see the maximus or center beam and the first diffracted laser beam light right here. We can measure that in centimeters and millimeters with this ruler. And it comes out to being 5 centimeters between the maximus and the first diffracted light. And then we can measure the length that the fraction grading is from the screen and it comes out to six millimeters. We can throw this into our equation. In our equation we have d sine theta equals n lambda where d is the diffraction grading spaces in meters. Theta is the angle of diffraction N is the order number. Lambda is the wavelength on the light in meters. This equation can be rearranged to this, where this lambda is wavelength. Here are my calculations. I put in the variables that I measured into the equation. You divide 1,000 millimeters per space in the diffraction grating between each prism into 0 0.001 to convert it into metric. Sine theta is 0 0.64 degrees and is 1. If we measure the first spaced, the first spacing of the first diffracted laser beam that we saw. The lambda came out to 6.4 times 10 to negative 7 meters. And that's congruent with what we were expecting of 
around 450 to 700 nanometers, but my math is a little bit off, and I allow you to write in the comments section exactly why that may be the case. And this is Frank with Frank's Beautiful Rocks and Minerals, always reminding you to keep looking down.